Excuse me, sir. You there? Would you like to game? Then game we shall. Holy crap, guys. Patch 2.0.4 is here. And uh, I, I was pretty excited about the Witch Doctor changes. It, you know, I was reading the patch notes, and I was like, yeah, this is a good step in the right direction. But uh, something my buddy Snow informed me about, which a lot of people may not know yet, is that it's not in the official patch notes, but the Witch Doctor pets now scale off your critical hit damage. And uh, I don't know if Blizzard intended for this to be this way, but uh, as of right now, it is spectacular, and I'm enjoying it. I'm loving the hell out of it. And uh, so I'm going to share this information with everybody. Not only am I going to be talking about the pet build, I'm going to be showing you a run you can do now as solo with your Witch Doctor that's giving you a pretty decent amount of golden experience. And uh, it's the Act 2 Snake runs, as we all know. But you can easily do them now with this, with this new uh, setup i got going on. So let's get right into it, guys. I'm going to show you what build I'm using. I've been having my Fetish Army crit, like I said, um, for like anywhere from 13 to 15 million with fetish, Big Bad Voodoo Fetish Army combination. The slam dance and all that. So something that you probably will want to have is Firewalkers if you can get them. If you don't have them, this run is still viable, but it won't be as quick. I, I got home and I did this for maybe... 20, 30 minutes, maybe, maybe not even that long, and I was under half, halfway, um, experience bar, I was probably, eh, it's probably a, one, two, three, four, probably about four bars in, and that's how much experience I got doing this, anyway, so the build I'm using is on my left click, I'm using the Plague of Toads with Piercing Toads, you could easily switch this out with Addling Toads for the chance to confuse enemies and have them fight for you, on my right click, I'm using Mass Confusion with Paranoia, Makes enemies fight each other, plus you do more damage. It's an amazing skill. I'm on one key, I'm using Umbral Shock with uh, the Spirit Walk with Umbral Shock. So uh, basically whenever your Spirit Walk, spirit walk ends, you, your physical body erupts, dealing 750% uh, weapon damage is fired to all enemies within 10 yards. See where I'm going with this? Number two, on <laughs> my two key, I'm using Hex with Angry Chicken. Transform into an Angry Chicken for up to two seconds. That can explode for 1350% weapon damage is physical to all enemies within 12 yards. Yeah. <laughs> On my 3K, I'm using Fetish Army with Legion of Daggers. So your Fetish Army now hits like a truck, which I didn't get to show you guys yet my new helm. You'll be pretty amazed by that, hopefully. <laughs> On my 4K, I'm using Big Bad Voodoo with Slam Dance, so that just overall boosts your damage and all your pets damage as well. They get the bonus as well. For passives, guys, I'm using Jungle Fortitude for the damage reduction. I'm using Tribal Rights for the cooldown reduction. On Fetish Army, Big Bad Voodoo, Hex, Gargantuan. Mass Confusion, all that good stuff. Um, on my third passive, I'm using Grave Injustice. And on my fourth passive, I, on passive, I'm using Pierce the Veil, which you really don't need to worry about mana with this build at all. There's nothing that really consumes reach of mana a lot at all. You could switch some of these out if you wanted to. I guess I don't necessarily have to use Tribal Rights, but uh, I think it's pretty important with this run because having the cooldowns is essential to not being killed most of the time. So for uh, the helm here, guys, <laughs> I got a Mask of Jerem for with 98% uh, pet damage. That is pretty awesome. But I went ahead and threw a diamond in that as well. So it gives me cooldown reduction by 12% more on all my spells. And then on top of that, I have this ceremonial knife here. <laughs> uh, reduces the cooldown of my Mask Infusion by 15 seconds. So essentially, my Mask Infusion is pretty much a constant. So that is a constant 20% more damage all enemies are taking. Got the firewalkers here. And you need these bracers right here. This these things are really, really awesome. I guess the Wars and Wars Chi and Arm Guards or however you want to pronounce that. Um these things are really uh, really good for this run. It's pretty much essential. Those and firewalkers are the two key things you'll need. But anyways guys, I'm gapped enough, I'm sure. So let's get right into how to do this. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. The idea behind this is you wanna max the amount of AoE damage you can do and you really just want to try to nuke the enemy down as quickly as possible in the first area and then you pretty much just skip all the other ads and run through as quick as possible. Just making sure he wasn't talking to me. I try to answer my clan members at all times and not ignore them because I don't like to be a jerk. Alright guys, so going to have some snakes, gather them up, let them run, do your thing. Okay, now you angry chicken. Boom. Again, spirit walk. Angry chicken. Boom. <laughs> Again, spirit walk. Angry chicken. Boom. 
and you can mass confusion if you want. And that's cleared. Okay, so once you've done that, here's where the farm part begins. You just run into breakable objects and your boots, open the chest if you want to shot at legendaries, and uh, your boots just do all the work for you with that speed boost from your bracers. When you get here, you got to hit these crystals, break them down. Once you get past that boring part, <laughs> you just keep on trucking, buddy. Chicken, get some move speed. And there you have it, guys. Look at that amount of experience and gold you get. It's pretty retarded. Now, you can easily just rinse and repeat this, and man, I am leveling really quick and getting lots of gold this way. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Hopefully it wasn't too fast. Hopefully you guys could absorb all that information and uh, really take it in. And, and hopefully this is really helpful to my fellow witch doctor friends out there. <laughs> As always, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video, like I said. And uh, if you like, comment, subscribe. And do not be afraid to ask me any questions. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave those below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Anyways, guys, <laughs> pet doctor's back. That's probably going to be the next video I'll do. I'll do a video on the pet doctor and how that works. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.